Hey everyone, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take this and make your very own magnetic weight plates that look like this. Okay, let's get right into it. So for this project, you're gonna need a couple things. Gorilla glue, doesn't matter what color, just Gorilla glue. You're gonna need some truck bed liner, either new or old rusty two and a half pound plates. You're gonna need four of them because you're gonna be using these plates for dumbbells and you want two per dumbbell. Now, the most important part for this to work very well is rare earth neomiodium. Neomiodium. Neo, neo di, neo di, neo, neo, neo diem, neo di, neo diemium, neo diemium, neo diem, neo, I feel like it's neo diem, diem, blah, aluminum, neo diemium, neo diemium, rare earth neo diemium magnets, like so. They're just tiny little magnets, but they're super, super powerful. You gotta be careful because if you let them snap, together too strong, they actually shatter. So about a temp, or an 80 pack of these, they're tiny here. I already had a few at home, so I did one plate with the ones I had at home, they're a bit bigger than these. But uh, this is what's left over after doing three more plates, so I would have had enough for a fourth plate. So this was an 80 pack of eight by three millimeter neodymium magnets. And that's why you're gonna want the truck bed liner because these are very easy to shatter. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for everything I use to build these magnets on Amazon. If you wanna support the channel, make sure you uh, click on those links to buy your magnets. Now let's get into actually making them. Okay, so step one, you're gonna take your weights. If you bought brand new plates, you can skip this step. If you have old rusty plates or you want to paint them a different color or customize them, then you can follow along and do step one. So the first thing I did with my plates was take the rust off for that. I have a, a, a brush wheel, a wire brush wheel uh, attached to my bench grinder. I take most of it off with that. And for anything that's left in between the letters and all that, I have various attachments that I use on my power drill. So a little kit like this is not very expensive and it, it's nice to have. I use it all the time there. So now once you get your plates all cleaned up and good to go, make sure you get all the rust off. And the next thing, it, you, you just, you gotta coat them with a layer of paint and it keeps everything from rusting. And if there is a little bit of rust, that rust uh, paint is like a rust inhibitor because nothing stops rusting, but it will slow it down if you don't uh, clean it all up. The pattern that I really enjoy in my gym is always the flat black with the white lettering. So I just use a, a paint pen. You can use whatever the Sharpie makes them. Uh, I think I got this one at Walmart. Okay, once you're done adding your detail, only do one side because you're gonna be using your truck bed liner on the other side anyways. Just do one side. Step two, once your plates are ready, flip them to the side that you didn't do the white lettering or the, your detail or whatever, and just scuff up around the inner ring of the weight plate because that's where we're gonna glue our magnets. Once that's done, make sure you wipe off the dust from the sanding and put a glop of glue around the plate. I say glop of glue because uh, I found I want to really protect those neo medium whatever rare earth magnets so I really want them in the glue. So you put a big glop of it and then you start putting your magnets down. Now you'll notice when you're, you're putting your magnets down they tend to they tend to snap together or there's certain ways that they'll want to be next to each other. If they start pushing a, away from each other, just kind of flip them. You almost have to put each one a different way and then they kind of stick well in a circle. You really want to get as many magnets around that circle as you can. And I found that uh, as long as you fill the circle all the way around, it will be strong enough to hold the plates. Okay, word of caution, wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves in here. I immediately regretted it. Uh, I was able to cut my nails a couple days later, but uh, I'm sure everybody's seen the girl who put uh, Gorilla Glue in her hair for some reason. Well, oh my, that must have been horrible. I think it's been four days and I still have some remnants of Gorilla Glue on my hands. I mean, my bad, I should have known better. For the other three plates, I did them later because I had to order the magnets. I put gloves on. Put gloves on while doing this. I know I'm showing it with no gloves, put gloves on. Okay, once you got your magnets in, in, in place, just kind of swipe around and you know, it's okay if you get a little bit of glue on top of the magnets, just, you know, it's all covered. 
It's gonna protect, help protect the magnet as well. Let it dry for a couple hours. It doesn't need to be fully cured to go to the next step. Uh, two or three hours is all you need. And now we're ready to move on to step three. As I said before, these magnets break super easily. Not only do these break super easily, this kind of looks like crap now. So, in comes the truck bed liner. Uh, you only need to wait about 20 minutes in between. A couple sprays, leave it for 20 minutes, put a second coat on. Uh, the last three plates I did, I only did two coats. They're still kind of drying right now, but the first one, I originally did three coats and it was a little too thick and it actually affected how much it would stick. So two coats should be enough. And the great thing about truck bed liner is that if it does wear off and you start seeing the magnets through it, you can uh, touch it up again. It will adhere to itself. So this is what you end up with. Let's see if it focuses. There, see how flat it looks? It makes for a nice coating. And now I can put them, they'll stick right onto my Iron Masters and solid like i mean if your workout is more violent than this then magnetic plates are the least of your worries with the both of them on solid they don't move but like i said use them at your own risk you can judge what holds on enough for you but this is perfect. Uh, just a regular hex dumbbells. I'll go on that as well. And so the nice thing about this, if you're building a weight set with hex dumbbells, th this basically gets you instantly your fives, 15s, 25s, 35s, 45s. And it's, it's not even like it's a pain to change them because it just sticks right on. Boom. I now have a 25 pound dumbbell. I didn't have one before, now I do. Perfect. The fun thing is, if you got a metal rack, storage is built in. You can put them wherever. And uh, I can just store them on my fridge here. The plan is to actually fill the whole side of that fridge with a bunch of different uh, weights and I'll just stencil on uh, what they are. This is my favorite DIY that I've done so far. It works so well, and especially with the truck bed liner and the Neo Mew 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 magnets, it's just amazing. If you have any questions about how to make uh, your very own magnetic plates, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll help you if I can. If you're into home and garage gyms, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss whenever I put out more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.